everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on platforms. In this episode I would like to demonstrate how you could make an elevator which has to be activated by pressing a key on your keyboard. This would of course give you a lot of options in your game as on how to activate switches, to move objects or actually open doors or whatnot. So um, let's just get right into it. I've um, made this little scene here, um, already set up some of the basics which you can find in my other tutorials. And with basics I actually just mean I put here a platform which has a box collider. Um, yes, and actually I can also put another box collider on it, which is, uh, let's say, the trigger. It's the trigger, and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Mm. Like this. Actually, I want the person to stand on the elevator to start the trigger. And what I also want to do is have a, let's say, a text box, um, which actually informs the player that he has to do something. Let's say a press to activate. So I have here a box which says press to activate. If you put it in light, this, this actually this level is made with light and darkness. So you can see it's in the dark, but if I have it here somewhere, it should actually activate. Um, so let's make this a little bit smaller. I made it very simple in actually um, PowerPoint. <laughs> Uh, just to make some text block like this and I would like to have it pop up here. Let's put it here in the player. Um, let's put it let's say, on top of everything. This platform is minus, uh, so let's say behind the player. And this press to activate, let's put it here in the elevator folder. So I made an elevator folder which has the move platform with the box colliders and a press to activate, which I would like to have here. Perhaps I can make it a little bit, let's say, um, change the color a little bit. You can change the color here and make it a little bit transparent. Does that, would that make it look cooler? Actually, I don't really, it doesn't really stand out, does it? Yeah, it's not really helping much. Perhaps if I put it to the white a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's just leave it like that for now. And let's go on our elevator, which we would like to have as a uh, trigger, which is already done. And then we're going to add our finite state machine. So as usual, we are going to start with a trigger to the event. And the trigger to the event should be, of course, the player trigger. Um, the character should also have the player trigger there. Uh, we go back on the move platform and once we enter the area we finish the first state. So let's call this the trigger state. We're gonna add a state and in this state we want to inform the player uh, by moving this text in place. Currently it's already in place but let's say move the text in place um, just to inform uh, the player and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put this text somewhere out of the screen so it doesn't bother you and nobody sees it before and what I'm gonna do is then just add here a new kind of function is setting the property of something you can also move it but sometimes when moving objects the don't always end up in the right location in this kind of trigger functions. For moving platform it does, but I learned in these kind of situations it's not really, uh, let's say, the best. So uh, set property target object is going to press to activate. Um, just once, we don't need every frame, we just want one update. We want to have the property here in transform, which is actually the same as this transform box. We're going to put the position in a factor tree um, and now we need to have the right position for this. And for that, uh, I would like to find out what is the right position. Um, now, unfortunately, I cannot put a target here. That's a little bit unfortunate, but I'm just going to create an empty 
empty object and maybe it should be somewhere like here that seems like like you know yeah let's say x17 and the ion one and maybe later on the top i i will check again i know this is uh, maybe a little bit strange that i do it like this but i want to move the text in place and after the text in place i'm just going to finish right away and the text will just float there then with this request to enter a key and it said press e to continue get key down as an option here and you can actually just select any key of your keyboard here so this is quite handy you could also get a button or a controller depending on the platform which you want to choose um, in this case, I actually had the text made to press E um, because if you want to move it W A S D, that's fine. And we're just gonna add a transition. Finish. So let's say press key. And after you press the key, I would actually like to have this this text move text away i just i, I don't want to see the text in anymore and i'm just gonna you know change the y-axis to let's say 1000 so that i'm sure it won't be showing up in the screen anymore and afterwards i could actually just move the elevator now um yeah i'm gonna add a new state i'm gonna call move elevator Hope I spelled this correct. Elevator, elevator, is it with an I? Um, I think it's fine. Even if it's wrong, uh, my apologies. English is not my first language. So in this case, we're just gonna move object. And the object should be the owner, which is the elevator. And we're gonna add, of course, then destinations again. For this one, we have to make actually targets. So what I'm gonna do is just make a create empty and we call this one the target two. I know it's always target two and then target one um, because the target one I want to have, let's say up here somewhere because I want the elevator to stop at the top. Um, we go back on the elevator and we go to target one so for some reason I'm confusing myself and let's say it's gonna take four seconds and then it finishes the event and uh, what I would like to do though after I press E perhaps I also want to add a short wait and uh, perhaps a sound effect does that make sense um, I don't really need to put a finish event here it's gonna play sound or is it sound yeah play sound Play sound. Um, perhaps just, just you can use anything. An elevator sound. Bing. Or I just have this bass sound. Play sound. Move object. And we finish. Oops. That's not what we wanted. We had a transition finished. So. And then we would like to have a similar situation, situation at the top but not right away so the elevator arrives and I don't want to have the text pop up right away in the face like a oh, press to continue so what I'm gonna do is just add in other states with a wait let's put a wait here wait and let's say five seconds and then we finish the event again Transition finished, and then we actually want to have another circle, but so another trigger. Let me just get the start state and copy paste it. I don't want to have this the initial state. It's called trigger two now. So once if the player is here again, I get the trigger. I move the text in place, and this time the text should be now, let's say here on the top. So let's just shortly find out with this game object where I would like to have it, maybe somewhere here. 
So 17 and 9, perhaps? I mean, we have can test it then later. Uh, but let's just say 17 and 9. I'm going to press the key. It's not really looking very nice here. Uh, press the key. Move the text away again. This one we can just leave again like it was. Move the elevator. You can see my finite state machine is getting quite big. Uh, we move the elevator now to target 2. And then we're going to wait again. And then bang, we're back at the start. So let's actually see if this works. Let's hope and pray that the text box actually shows up. So it's waiting now for me to trigger it. Dun, 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 dun. Jumping up. Ah, press E to activate. Okay, press E. Elevator is going up. There was a sound. Jumping off. It's waiting. So at the moment it won't trigger anything. If I trigger now, press E to activate. Now I could move this down a little bit. Um, I suppose it's it's not really on on top. Um, but I mean it gives me here the idea. Um, press E again. And we move down. This is also, of course, not really made nicely. The wall is just on top. I'm bumping my head. Um, so we can, uh, we could just, let's say, make this a little bit up so that people don't really struggle there. Um, let's go on the elevator. I think the, the move to text. The, the text here was quite all right. At the top was not so nice, but this is also because the elevator stopped a little bit too early. I want to actually have it more here to the top. Um, in addition, what I could also do is, uh, let's say, add a light. Um, a light on top of the elevator when it's functioning. This is, this is also possible. I have light here. Something like this. Is this, a, this is just a light. It's a little bit big. Uh, you can actually add lights. Perhaps I can show this shortly how to add a light. Uh, let's just go here to the elevator. And let's here add a light to d And we're going to add a freeform light, which we then can edit in shape. Perhaps we just want to have this little crystal light up when the elevator moves. That's maybe nice. So we just make this little triangle here. Um, and of course I want it to light the player. Yeah, that's, that's something like that. Now I have, a, let's say, a freeform light. And of course also this we could move in and out, let's say, and let's actually do that. Perhaps let's just put it here on this one elevator. Um, and let's say when we move the text and we press the key, we move away uh, and set property. And we're gonna set the property of this this free light. We're also gonna do here transform position factor three. Now of course it's gonna be tricky. Whoops! If I press now this free from light, I can actually find out it's on nine and minus two. But for some reason I don't trust this. I don't trust this. This giving me these figures. I actually want it right there. Which is position 16, it's right here in the middle. That's where I want it. Uh, it might actually be off a little bit, but let's let's just try. 15.9 um, and minus 0 0.5. 15.9 uh, minus 0 
for this uh, freeform light that I actually pushed the freeform light. A nice freeform light. Let's just put it here. Oops. First, we go here. So the freeform light. Ah, this of course. Mm, yeah, it would work if I connect the freeform light there. Yes, it would work because it's gonna move it on top, and then it's gonna move with the platform. So of course I have to make the freeform light a child of this platform, and I'm gonna put it in place by using the transform, and then it's gonna hopefully move right. Let's just check. Now you can see actually the light is there. Now the light came up. And of course at this point I would also just have the light to disappear again. So the light came. Did it came at the beginning actually? Was it dark? For some reason I, I, I lost my focus there. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, there's no light. Press E. And the light is there, it lights up a little bit. You can, of course, animate the light as well to make it, let's say, more denser. You can see there's also the light in this kind of blocks, they have like an animation added to it. Um, yeah, to have it. I think the light location was quite all right. Um, move the elevator, perhaps after it finishes, moving the elevator, and we wait five. And perhaps we can actually just add the trigger or the, the, the set property of this light, free from light, um, transform, position, factor tree. We're just gonna, yeah, it doesn't actually matter where it is. Let's just put it away. So the light will be away. And then we're gonna trigger again, move text in place. After pressing the key, the text will disappear and we're gonna set property for the freeform light again and we're gonna transform and now of course the question is what was the position <laughs> where it was this is now of course a little bit tricky but I think you get the, get the point kind of right so just want to make sure where was it I think it should be somewhere here right 16 and 8. Let's just give that a try. Hmm? 16 and 8. And then it's gonna move the elevator back down. It's gonna wait. And perhaps after the wait again, we set this property to turn the light off again. Did we have it here also after? Yeah. Yeah, we can actually just like copy this one, right? Remove this, paste. And let's see if that makes any sense. Dun, 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 dun. Press E to activate. Uh, of course, we should make this more clear. It's blue on blue is not really helping the situation. So the lights in the first initial stage is absolutely correct. Um, I think it's not going to be correct for the second one. It's going to wait. Uh, it's a little bit on top. And um, yeah. And now it's actually, uh, it was already gone then. No, well, but you get the point. Uh, so you have a lot of, uh, let's say, possibilities to make these kind of triggers. Uh, as you can see, I also uh, I have some light on my character, so it lights up these things as well. And then, uh, yeah. Well, I'm quite satisfied with this. What you could do, of course, is also put a trigger here you know, to make the elevator move up and down. So this is all possible. Perhaps next time I can make an even more complicated elevator. But I think once you get this, this you can kind of get the, 
get the hang on and get the point on how these elevators or moving platforms work. Well, thank you uh, for actually looking until the end and see you next time. Cheers. Bye bye.